We've got a huge group that's outstanding. You're not a Bears fan, it's supposed to work on Okay. Bears fans. <laughs> we have a Bears fans here? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So when I say look up at all those beautiful banners, you can... Uh, well, I mean, at least we got a quarterback. <laughs> I like Jay Cutler. <laughs> yeah, he's my second favorite quarterback because we always count on him to throw us a couple. <laughs> you heard about the baby bear, right, Coach? No. Wanted to divorce his dad. So he goes to the judge and says, Judge, I want to divorce my dad. The judge says, what? Why do you want to divorce your dad? Well, my dad beats me. Whoa. Well, how about living with your mom? No, I want to divorce her too. What? What? Why do you want to divorce your mom? Well, she beats me. Well, who do you want to live with? I live with the Chicago Bears. They don't beat anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I told that I'm down in Hallisall giving a USA deal. 120 coaches. Beautiful Hallisall. Beautiful. Just like Packers stuff up here. 119 of the 120 coaches are Bears fans. <laughs> so I got booed off stage. And one fan, I give him a lot of credit in back, a Packer guy. <laughs> so then one guy comes up and he comes up and he says, you know, Coach, you know why they call Chicago the Windy City? I go, you know, I know. He goes, because Indiana blows and Wisconsin sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so that, you can always come back with that one, Coach. Okay? Okay. We are going to talk about safe tackling techniques. All right? So what I would like is we got three, six, eight. Perfect. I would like two guys to grab one red bag. And we're all going to be bag holders. So let's start with red bag holders. If you don't want to go through anything because you're maybe a little sore or something, you can be an all-time bag holder if you want. One bag holder between the one and the zero, and one bag holder halfway to that point. Everybody else on the five yard line looking out at those beautiful. So you can turn your back now to the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else. I got lower back. Okay, good. Well, uh, good. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're doing. Well, we have you the bag. Okay? I, I'm sorry, I don't want you. I, I do not mean to. No, this is Coach is happy. Yeah, please stay off to the side. Uh, bank holders stay off to the side. Every, every rule, or every, every rule, every drill you develop, make sure safety is the most important thing. Okay, make sure your bank holders are safe. Make sure your players are safe. Okay, you can get a touch closer. We're going to start with a form tackle. We're going to use our right shoulder, but we're not going to use the top of our shoulder. We're going to use that right front shoulder plate. Okay? And we're going to ask you to walk up, hit the bag with our right shoulder, and we want our right foot up. We want to be in a good power position, right shoulder, right foot, double uppercut, and squeeze the bag to our, to our shoulder peg, and just take a couple steps. Just before they get here, lift the bag a little bit off the ground, okay? And all you're going to do is walk and look at those gorgeous uh, bands. Set, hit! Right foot up, eyes up, good, that's good. Guys are very good. And you don't even have to rotate bag holders because we've got two superstars holding you there. Yeah. Set, hit. Good job. Right, that's correct. Right foot, right shoulder. Very good. Set, hit. Nice. And then we'd go through a left shoulder, right? I don't know that we need to do that. I think we're probably okay on that, okay? <laughs> so we have right shoulder, right foot. If we go left shoulder, it's left foot, okay? Making sure the head is up. When we do hit that bay, we don't want to turn the head to the side. We don't want to tilt the head, because now what's in jeopardy? Neck, yeah. And you hear, heard stingers? This is how you stretch a, a muscle in your neck. So we want to slide the head off to the side, making sure we hit with our right shoulder pec area, okay? That's a real key that you can use and tell your kids. Now, the next drill, unfortunately, every tackle is not a nice form tackle like that. It doesn't work that way, does it? So what we're going to ask you guys to do, we're going to ask you to bring the bag up under your chin. You don't do this right away, but in a minute. Holding it like that, so it's your hands, because we're going to hit down. Okay? Then we're going to ask you to start by going at a 45 degree angle to your left, and you're going to make an angle tackle. Correct? So you're both going to go to our left, then we'll go the other direction. If I'm going, ball carrier's going this way, what shoulder do you think I'd like it? You bet. Why right shoulder? So your head's, so your head's out of the hitting zone. Now that's going to be unnatural for guys who played a lot of football. Because what did coach tell you? Head across. Head across. Yeah. Will the head ever go across? Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. It happens, right? It does happen. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we all survived head across. Uh, but we'd like to give our kids another tool and a safe tool to tackle. Okay? And that's why we're going to ask you to put the head behind. 
We never got water back then. <laughs> yeah. Salt pill? Still driving with the right. What is your sign? You hit the. Uh, that was my next point, and you made it for me, Coach. I love you. That was perfect. Still, because we're hit with the right shoulder, the right foot is in, the right double uppercut, we're going to wrap our arms around both the bag and the coach. Okay? Got it? I'm destroying my back. <laughs> this is not a full contact drill, or even a contact drill. This is just a form drill. Say, hit. Good. Is that okay? Or? <laughs> Set. Hit. Good. Good, good, good. Set. You've already gone. You're okay. Set. Hit. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. It's just the form. Thanks for asking. Set. Now we're going to go 45 degrees toward me. To your right. So what shoulder? Correct. Correct. Head behind. Yep. Set. Hit. Good. Set. Hit. Left foot up. Nice. I love it. Nice Good job. Set. Hit. Good. That's it. Exactly. Okay. This is how we're going to make it tough. Uh, take two steps that way for me. You're good. Good. Now, uh, tackler on the white line. Who's up? Now, bag holders. I am going to give you a direction. You're not going to know the direction. You have to, on the fly, attack the ball carrier, <laughs> get your head in the correct position, and form up as if you're making a tackle. Am I clear? All right, big holders. Four, 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 40, 45 degree angle, whichever direction I hold my arm. <laughs> Set, hit. That's it. Right oh, shoulder. Right. Good job. You kind of wanted a certain one. The wrong foot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best coach of all, best uh, tackle of all. He can correct himself. Set, hit. Ah, uh, just like coach taught you once upon a time, head across. <laughs> Except this coach is teaching a little different. <laughs> You're all okay. Set, hit. Nice, good. Oh, where's your head coach? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so that's it, and that's a great drill to do, to have kids, you know, it's you kind of felt a little confusion there, didn't you? As you approach it, you're kind of like, but if you do over and over and over, you get comfortable. Okay? Now we're off to the side bag holders, right hand on the bag, off to the side. First tackler up. Right toe touching the bag, left knee on the ground. Fine drive? Yeah, thigh and drive. So we had form tackling, angle tackling, now thigh and drive. As always, head up. What we're going to do on set hit, is we're going to attack the bag again with more top of the shoulder now. And we're going to keep our eyes up, double uppercut, and we're going to drive our hips into the bag, and we're going to land on the bag. If you do have a, a back issue of any sort, no, no reason to do this, okay? If you want to just tackle and walk it up, that's perfectly okay with me. Kids love this drill, okay? Where are you driving off? Your back? Uh, you're driving off your back foot, but not even your back foot. Actually, I don't even want the back foot to work. I want to drive off. I want to use our hips. All the, you know, all that thing, clean work you do in the weight room. Now, youth players aren't doing that, but they will. Whether it's a hand clean or a power clean or a snatch, all that hip development is what we're emphasizing on the pack. Great question. Great question. Set. Hit. Oh, that's what we want. Exactly. The kids love this. They love this. Landing on the bank. This is good stuff. That's a better night. <laughs> Stretch it over. Stretch right it. toe on the ground, left knee on the ground. Not, don't touch your toe, you know, that force is used Yeah, that's what I want to teach you that. <laughs> Just like the kids, set. Good, nice. This is, a, this is the best one for the bag holder, right? You don't have to worry about anything. Is, <laughs> your, your hard work is done. The angle is the only one where you were part of it. Set. Nice, that's the table. That's not that bad. Okay. That's step one of the progression from a knee. Can anything be safe? No, that's really safe. You can even have kids without that doing that. Like like little rugby. fifth graders, huh? Like rugby. <laughs> <laughs> like rugby, exactly. Yeah. So anyhow, and now step two, put our right toe up to the bag. Right next to the bag. Right next. What you say? Left foot back. We're going to do the exact same thing we did, only we're going to have to bend our knees to get into the hitting position. And then to land on it if we want, or just carry it out if we want. Your choice. 
Okay, so from a kneeling position to a standing position. Set, hit. Good. Exactly. Set. Hit. Good. That's no way. Good job. Set. Hit. Excellent. 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 Okay, so we've got a kneeling and a standing, so now we're going to get the movement going, right? So we're not going to do a lot of movement, we're only going to do a two step. So right up front, that's perfect, coach. Right foot up, so our two step will be left right. Just like on a dance floor, huh? See, we're getting ready for Saturday night. Oh, please. Left right. Set. Hit. Same thing. Oh, that away. Feel free to carry the bag out or land on it. Your choice. Set. Hit. Excellent. Good. Set. Hit. Left right. All right. There we go. Okay, so now we've got knee. Two step. Now we got to get some movement going, huh? Okay, let's just go to one line here. Um, you okay to run down the line a little bit? Not one. Okay, relax. All right, put that bag way over there. Talk to me. Okay, hold it with your right hand. And you want to be in front of it. You're not tackling the red shirt, yeah. you're tackling the red bag. Okay? See, I'm saving you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, okay, you're welcome. You're going to slowly move down the line and you are going to just go ahead and right shoulder. Set, hit. Exactly. I like that. That's good. Exactly. Set, hit. Yep, right shoulder. Good. Okay, I'm going to make a little tough time. Let me make it a little tougher on you. Because uh, you're clearly the best athlete in the group. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Give or take six or seven of them. <laughs> you're my outside linebacker. You're going to drop, and you're going to cover that pass, and then you're going to recognize it's a run, and you're going to throw oh. it back. Okay? I'm going to put you right here. When I say set hit, you go. When I say go, you go. Set hit. Go. Run. See that? How we incorporate what's happening on the field? Could we do that with a defensive back? Okay, you're defensive back. I want you to backpedal when I say set hit. When I say go, you go, and you go, okay? You're my DB. Set, hit, go, run. There we go. So we incorporate so skill point. position into the drill. <laughs> Make sense? Would you, you need that anyway? Would you, uh, at a youth, I, I'm coaching, last year, fourth, this is fifth grade. Um, would you, you would do everyone. I would think everyone would run. So yeah, don't know what and, correct, defense. correct. And you know what? One of the best quarterbacks ever coached played defensive line in football. Yeah, yeah. Joel defense Beard line, played, played at Platteville. Yeah. yeah, he played uh, uh, for what's his name over there? Platteville. He played actually for for Ryan national championship basketball, and then he went and played year football. Yeah. So okay, that was. Let's get back to the original two uh, bag holders. We got one more one more set of drills to go through. That was thigh and dry. Thigh and roll. Nine roll. You got it. I think I'm going to drink water. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with this too many of these for today. <laughs> you know, okay, you take us through, Bruce. Okay, right toe down is good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to heal our right shoulder, squeeze, and roll. Okay? Now, this is a situation where we got Dan, who is about a buck uh, 60, yeah. having to tackle my man over there. What's your name, coach? Todd. Todd, who's buck 80. Okay? And now he's 20 pounds more than you. You gotta find a solid. You're welcome. <laughs> you gotta find a way to get him down. So you're gonna, this, this is his thigh. You're gonna hit it and you're gonna roll. Wait for the cavalry. Set, hit, hit, squeeze and roll. Got it. Now we are gonna go through because I think that's the most time. But but the same exact progression we just did: kneeling, standing, two-step, running. And we can incorporate the drop, linebacker drop, the defensive back drop, any other position. What does the spinning do? The, sp the spinning is nothing more than a technique to slow a ball carrier down. Nobody likes to be, it's kind of the, modeled after the Seattle Seahawks talk to yeah. It's modeled after that. The idea is to give a little guy an opportunity to tackle a bigger guy and have a chance. So what do you do with the dough?